guys, we're going to do something a little bit different today. It's just going to be one of those videos where I'm going to go over a few trading tips that you need to know, you know, how to be a better trader and how to just improve your overall sense of investing as well. You know, these strategies actually do apply to longer term timeframes. I think everyone thinks of being a trader as you've got to go and do scalping, you've got to do day to day trades, but that's not how a lot of the best traders actually trade. A lot of the traders will use, I mean, myself included, I, I actually like to trade on the daily chart a lot. I like to use the four hour chart. I like to use the weekly chart sometimes to do those longer term swing trades because that's where you're going to see those exponential gains rather than just a few percent here and there. So let me just show you what I mean with a few things. So we're going to start off with uh, some basic support and resistance, right? As you guys know, I mean, I'm sure if you've been in the trading game for a while, you know what support and resistance is. But let me show you how I like to do it. A few tips and tricks that maybe you didn't already know. So the way a lot of people like to do it is to draw lines, right? A lot of people like to say, OK, well, there's some uh, some resistance up here. You can see where price has touched and come away multiple times and therefore that will be support when it flips now that's okay in that scenario you know that may work out however support resistance are more zones than lines you know for example if price comes down to around $25,000 here, is it just going to bounce straight away? Well, maybe it is, but at the same time, we don't know that. I like to draw these zones around these areas, giving it a bit more leeway, encapsulating a bit more, because if you actually look, guys, you can see there was more resistance point here where price moved away. There was more here and more here. So by encapsulating all these different zones, it means that when price comes back into this area, I'm not expecting and putting all my money on it going bouncing from one exact point. I'm actually allowing it to breathe a bit and I'm saying, okay, Anywhere we're in within this can be an accumulation zone. So I can dollar cost average within the zone. I can buy multiple times. I can buy at 24K, 24.5K, 25K, for example, and uh, therefore build up an average price, which is a little bit better than if I had just gone for the tip top or the resistance. Now, there is a risk that maybe you do end up missing out on some trades because it doesn't come as deep. However, again, it's risk reward ratio is how you make money in this market, guys. So that is what I do for support and resistance. I like to draw them as zones, encapsulate as much of this as possible you know for example like it seems like a lot guys but you know price really can come down to 3k and then move around a bit and then push up rather than just down up straight like like in the textbooks it doesn't happen like that all the time in the markets now another thing i want to talk about with support resistance and another little tip actually is if you go onto this line charts up here so on trading view you can see you've got the different types of charts and i like to bring up the line chart sometimes and what i like to do to mark out these levels of support and resistance let's just use lines just for the ease of demonstration here is I like to go to where you see kind of these like these pointed tops and bottoms right you can see here we had quite a sharp top and bottom here quite a sharp top and bottom here here uh you know up here here for example so on and so forth um you had support here support here support here now these are some great levels i find for actually doing trading right if we go back to the chart here and we see how we did well look a lot of these levels actually held and did quite well and if we actually go back to what we we're saying about making them zones you can see a lot of them perform really really nicely and in the future i like to use those kinds of zones and those levels that i found from this line chart it makes it so much easier in my mind at least to visualize the support and resistance zone you can really see where price is heavily rejected from and heavily pushed up from rather than with the bar charts, it can get a little bit confusing. Another alternative to this is just zoom out a really long way so it looks like a line anyway, but I just find the line chart easier. Now, another thing you guys should know when it comes to trading is the trend, right? The trend is your friend. Most of the time when a market is trending, it's gonna continue trending more often than not. So this means that if you are following the trend, you have a better chance of success than if you go against the trend. Now, that's something simple that everyone probably hears when they go into trading. However, it really is the case. You know, if you just go against the trend, yes, you might get a bigger trade if you're right, but you're probably gonna only be right one or two times out of 10. Whereas if you go with the trend, you're gonna be right six, seven, maybe even eight times out of 10, depending on how good a trader you are. So with that being said, how can you determine the trend? We've talked many times before about kind of that one, two, three move that up, that move that looks like this. And then you have like a move that would break out this area here. And then you'd have that kind of continuation. And that's what a trend would look like. And then it's not invalidated until it breaks down past like that. That's what a simple uptrend would look like. And an easy way, guys, 
to do it rather than having to actually spot them. I, I always think everyone should learn how to spot them, but you can literally just use an indicator. And as you guys know, one of my favorite indicators is the super trend indicator. However, one indicator I will use is the pivot point super trend indicator like this. It's this one here. You just add it to the chart. I actually put the settings at 2 to 10 on, and this basically just gives you a perfect way of showing you when is it an uptrend and when is it a downtrend. This just helps because it lets you take longs when you're in an uptrend. It lets you take shorts when you're down trend now i'm not saying you just buy and sell every time it says this but whenever we're in an uptrend this is where you think okay well the market has proven that it's going up therefore i only really want to be long and when the market's going down i only really want to be short so if you're only looking to buy the market for for example as an investing point of view then you could dollar cost average every time this gives you a buy signal for example so stuff like that i think is always really really solid now last but not least i just want to talk about volume volume is another indicator you can add to your chart and it just shows you you know how much well, volume, money, liquidity is in this market at this current time in these current candlesticks. Now on the daily chart, you can see each one of these candles corresponds with a candle of volume. And you can see certain candles are bigger than others and some are red, some are green. The red ones is when you've had a down day, the green ones are when you've had an up day. And what I like to do guys is when does it, when there's a breakout happening, for example, let's just use this as an example, right? The breakout candle, you could argue it's this, but I would be more comfortable with this. You can look at the volume and you can see it's a very large volume spike compared to all the other candles we've had recently so in my mind i'm thinking okay that's a legitimate breakout i want to go long however sometimes you're going to get a reverse of that right you're going to get a breakout or a breakdown for example uh, let's just use this as an example where the volume is just not going to be there you can see we broke down out of this small kind of trend line however regardless of the size of the red candle here you can see this volume yes it's a little bit bigger but it's not actually that much of volume compared to you know these breakouts here these breakouts here so i wouldn't go short there and yes you could have made a little bit of profit but overall the bigger moves are with the bigger amounts of volume so make sure you're always being careful and taking a look and considering volume into everything anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video just a few quick tips there for you and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed and comment down below what you want to see next bye mm -hmm.